When you receive GenoSensor's EduPrimer VNTR DNA Profiling Kit, it will consist of two major components. First, a clear container containing temperature-stable components. Second, an ice box that contains temperature-sensitive components. The clear container contains all the components necessary for DNA collection and isolation. Solution A contains the necessary reagents for cell lysis and DNA extraction. Solution B contains a neutralizing agent that is used to prepare the sample for DNA isolation and PCR. Also included are cotton swabs that are used for collecting sample cells. Inside the ice box you will find an ice pack used for keeping its contents cool. Beneath that you will find an aluminum bag that contains the reagents necessary for PCR, including a PCR master mix, positive and negative controls, as well as a DNA ladder for gel electrophoresis. It is important upon receiving the kit you place the aluminum bag in a freezer storage at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Before you begin your experiment, you should prepare your heat block or water bath if a heat block is unavailable. Turn your heat block on and add water or other appropriate materials to maximize heat transfer. Before using the heat block, be sure that the temperature sits stable at 95 degrees Celsius. Remove the PCR master mix from the aluminum bag and place it on ice to thaw. Once it is thawed, it is vital that before opening the tube, you spin it down for 10 seconds, vortex it, and then spin it down again. Be sure to keep the master mix on ice until it is ready to be used. Begin the experiment by adding 200 microliters of solution A to a labeled microcentrifuge tube. Then, using the provided cotton swab, swab the inside of your cheek for 10 seconds. Place the cotton swab inside the tube and then cut it so it will close tightly. Then vortex the tube and place it on a prepared heat block for 5 minutes. Load the sample into a microcentrifuge and spin it down for 10 seconds to remove condensation. Afterwards, remove the cotton swab from the tube using tweezers. Be sure to wash the tweezers with ethanol between samples to avoid contamination. Next, add 20 microliters of solution B to the tube to neutralize the mixture and prepare for DNA isolation. Vortex the tube to mix the solution, then place it in a microcentrifuge at 12,000 RPMs for one minute. After spinning, a small pellet containing cellular debris may be visible at the bottom of the tube under the hinge. At this point, if you haven't already, prepare the master mix as explained earlier by spinning, vortexing, and spinning again. Begin PCR preparation by adding 10 microliters of the PCR master mix to a labeled PCR tube. Do the same for tubes labeled for positive and negative controls. Add 2 microliters of the sample supernatant to the appropriate PCR tube. Use the pipette to mix the sample in by pipetting up and down. If you do not immediately load the tubes into a thermocycler, be sure to store them on ice. Otherwise, load the tubes and set the thermocycler. At this point, for classes with shorter time periods, you may unload the PCR samples and store them in a cool environment for a later lab period. Running the resulting PCR samples through gel electrophoresis, follow standard procedures with a 3% agarose gel with DNA dye such as Gel Red or CyberSafe. It is best to keep the gel in the dark during the cooling and gelation process in preparing the agarose gel as well as running the gel. Once the gel has run, view it under a UV lamp. For a full class, your gel should display the various VNTR genotypes. Please visit genosensorcorp.com for more information.